Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Star Wars First Order Snow Speeder. This is set number 75100, 444 pieces. You get uh, three minifigures. Two of them are the First Order Snow Troopers, and one of them is the Officer Snow Trooper. So this is based on the uh, the LEGO, I mean not the LEGO Star Wars, the... Uh, the Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, but this was designed before the final cut of the movie. So this scene that this, uh, this set is based on didn't even make it in the movie. So um, we're kind of just building it uh, based on what LEGO's designer saw. Um, so there are some deleted scenes or, or cut scenes that, that I've seen that actually show... Um, parts of this where they they meant to put it in the movie but it like i said it just didn't make the final cut you know for either time restrictions or you know plot or whatever so uh you know let's just build this for fun let's just do that okay let's not let's not try to you know say that you know it doesn't match the movie or it didn't didn't exist whatever let's just have fun with it okay i mean that's lego how how bad could it be it's not like you're not going to have fun. Alright, so we have a single instruction book, which is nice. Um, we don't have multiple books to thumb through. We have a small sticker sheet, which is also nice. And there's some small stickers on there, which is not so nice. We have numbered bags, which is nice. We have bag one through four. We're going to start with bag one. And I'm gonna, as someone commented in one of my videos once, they said um, that I, I open the bags like a madman, or, or I open the boxes like a madman, or I was going crazy some way or another with the way I was doing something. Obviously, they were having a bad day, didn't like the way I was, uh, I guess, uh, destroying packaging, you know, destroying the packaging. All right, so we have minifigures. Let's try not to destroy the, the, the minifigures. So we got these little boxes, and inside these little boxes are the little um, skirts. There's, there's three of them in there. Because there's three minifigures. And then in this little box, we have a little shoulder marking piece for the, uh, the officer. So we're going to build the officer right now. So I'll move these other two skirts off to the side. So we begin by putting this piece over the little leg bars that stick up out of the minifigure legs. And you have to carefully wrap it around. Try not to push the pieces that you already put on off because they're not really secured on until you put the, the minifigure torso on there. Alright, so there it is. Now we can slide the torso on. There. So that's our little skirt. And this guy has the little shoulder one as well. It's basically the when you when you rank up to an officer, this is this is your prize. You get to wear the uh, the shoulder skirt. He has a uh, neck bracket, and then his head, single printed head. And on the back of that bracket, there's this cool little printed tile. And then we have the helmet, 
along with a blaster. Blaster also gets a white lightsaber handle on the end. I don't know if the white has anything to do with the the fact that it's a stormtrooper or snow trooper or the fact that they're in the snow and maybe it helps camouflage it but either way it's this white extension to the, the little laser blaster okay so that completes the only minifigure from this set I mean from, not from this set from this bag there's two more after that one we'll get to those in obviously another bag because we're now on to the build of the snow speeder start off with plates and more plates turn it over let's add some more plates got a couple one by one red plates and some wedge plates Plates, turn it over. So, as you probably noticed, or maybe you haven't noticed, I'll tell you right now, in case you haven't noticed, um, I like to build models using both hands. Like, I'm holding it in one hand, I'm not putting it on the table. The instructions design it to where you should probably put it on the table just to push those pieces down nice and tight with the with the previous pieces that are put on but you know what I like to do is is uh, hold it in my hand because you see I put these on kind of loosely you can see there's a little gap in between them I like to squeeze it down to make sure all those pieces are on there and the best way that I do it is I put it on with one hand and then I squeeze it with the other hand so while I'm looking for the other pieces you may notice with my, my this hand this hand is grabbing pieces this hand is squeezing so I'll be uh, putting it on like that and you can see I'm still squeezing it down while I'm grabbing the next piece it's just kind of a habit of uh, the way that I, I usually build. It's, it's very hands-on, I guess you would say. So it's personal, pre I don't know if it's preference or just habit. That's the thing, maybe you guys can tell me, how do you build? Do you put stuff on the table and push down real hard on the table? Or do you two-hand build like I do. I'd be curious to know. Because I think partially the reason why I do this is when I was a, a kid, I had Lego, obviously. Um, who didn't, right? No, I'm just kidding. Not everyone played with Lego as a kid. But... Um, we would just dump out our bins of Lego that we had as a kid on our bedroom floor. And we just sat on the floor or laid on the floor and played with our Lego. So there wasn't a table to, to put stuff on, to build flat and push down on stuff. So I, I guess I got in the habit at a young age that you held on to what you were building and you just squeezed it down. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, maybe everyone builds like this. Maybe not. Like I said, let me know. Put a comment down below. I'd be curious to know. Alright, so we've got 
quite a few plates put on. Most of them were towards the back of the stuff. There's my part that I drop in every video. You know, all my diehard fans know that I drop drop pieces every video. That's the other thing with kind of a grabbing with one hand and pushing with the other. I'll sometimes let it go before I start to push it down. You see what I just did there? I place it here and then I use this, this thumb to push down. Well, if I do that too fast and don't get my thumb there, the piece hits the floor. So it looks like we've created seats, maybe, for the inside of the snow speeder. We have a one by three, and then there's a two by two slope. All right, so there's quite a few of these hinged brick or hinged plate pieces in the set. Well, not quite a few. I guess there's not that many. Now that I look at it. A couple more brackets. And a brick with a plate. These will both go on the underside of this hinged plate. The instructions say, push it in. That's what they, that's what they say. They don't say it, they graphically say it. But they're with little arrows. So it's more of a, a visual communication and less of a using words. Less verbal, more visual. How's that? I dig the visual communication, probably because that's what I do for a living. Alright, so now I've, I've put this on the table, now that I've told you this wonderful story of how I do everything with my hands, but it is getting a little, a little too flimsy with those little hinged angle pieces there so I had to put it down a little bit just to keep it sturdy all right this is next step we're gonna put some brackets on four brackets the instructions are not too clear they showed the part part call out but they didn't quite clearly show where everything went but I kind of figured it out so that's everything for that step so one by four plates I didn't skip a step. All right, we have some baby bow shapes, a two by two tile, two one by threes, and a single one by four. front getting close to finishing this bag this is going to be a one one video build it's probably going to be a little long 444 pieces will take 
over 30 minutes to build, but hopefully not too long. So uh, pause the video, grab a snack, because uh, you may be here for a little while. Or hey, you can just pause the video and resume at some other time. Either way, I'm just kind of warning you. This may be, I mean, you've already seen it. They show you on the, the beginning of the video how long it really is. So, what, what, am I, what am I doing but telling you something you already know? Right? I should just be quiet and build. I did do a poll once. It's one, one video that I did. And once again, my diehard fans may know which video it is. Um, my audio crapped out on me. And I didn't have audio for my... Like, the first 20, 20, well, it's probably 10 minutes of the build. I was missing the audio. But I put captions on there, um, basically telling everyone what was going on. And uh, I kind of threw in little, little captions like, hey, maybe you guys don't mind me not talking. Maybe you don't want to hear my voice. Do you, and I said, do you like silence? better or do you like me talking telling stories doing whatever I do here and overwhelmingly I got the response of, of uh, continue the talking don't don't do silent videos they didn't like that which you know I thought was was good because I mean, if I watch a video, I want to hear the talking, hear the hear the stories going on, and uh, don't want to hear silence. All right, so that completes bag number one. You can see we've got a good shape going for the snow speeder, but we still have three more bags left, so um, we got a lot of building to go. I will tell you that. The, uh, the remaining three bags don't seem to have nearly as many parts in them than the first bag did. So these should go pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and move on to bag number two. Okay, we have the parts dumped out. Um, looks like we're just going to continue on building the uh, snow speeder parts. There's no minifigures to see. Not yet. We still have two more bags after this, so... We'll get to those additional minifigures eventually. But there's not nearly as many parts in this portion than in bag one. I, I know that's a fact. Because I built bag one. Alright, we have a big sticker, sticker number one. Gonna go all the way across this two by four tile. Just like that. This piece then attaches. Right there on the front of the speeder. I don't know why that was zoomed in so much. That was unnecessary. So we have sticker number six. That goes there. So we're attaching stuff to the sides on these brackets. We have sticker number five. And it looks like we could potentially use all of our stickers in bag number two because we have the other side to build with these little panels and that could finish off all of our stickers okay we have a three by three plate that's not a very common size so always uh, fun to see semi-rare pieces
it's rare because it's not a standard Lego brick dimension. Typically they, they work in module even even numbers once you get past like a, a three. So it's usually like a one by two, one by four, one by six, two by four, two by six, so on. Even numbers. But there are modules of three. So you got a two by three right here, and there's a one by three. Um, a three by three is kind of rare. In the past, you would just put a, a two by three plate with a one by three plate next to it and use that as a suitable replacement. Now they make a custom or a uh, three by three specific. All right, there's our other panel. And with this going here, you know what time it is. It's last sticker time. So it's pretty cool. We were just barely getting into bag two and we've used all of our stickers. So everything else from here on out, if it's decorated in some way, it's going to be a print, which is kind of cool. Get some custom printed stuff. Yeah, see that? I mean, I practically just threw that on the ground. What's up with all that? Now I gotta grab it because it was a bigger piece that they don't give us extras of. Man, I'm just making making this build so inconvenient for myself. We have quite a few brackets on the underside of this. Got some one by one trans reds, tan plates, some white one by fours. Right. Put that to the side. We have a little sub build to do. It's going to be some Technic pieces. Technic is my jam, yo. I love me some Technic. Okay, we have some one by, I mean, uh, some four long axles. These half bushings are going to be on, put on the length of a, or the depth of a Technic brick. So what I do is I put a Technic brick on its side and I push the axle through and then push the bushing in and then we know it's uh, the right length. Put those both on there. It gets another half bushing. three long. This is actually going to get a half length. So I have clear pulley wheels. On this. Which we will put right there. Another Technic brick with some friction pins. They're having this. This is I'm building it the way they show it in the instructions. What I would consider upside down. Because normally you build studs up. Here the studs are facing down.
first. Right, so one by four plates, and then this two by six plate, and two one by six plates. And another one of these clear pulley wheels. Attach an axle joiner to another non-friction pin there. Last thing is we're going to build these support pieces. It's a T-shaped Technic lift arm or beam. The term I think is interchangeable. will both go on each side just like that bring this guy over that moment of truth does it all fit in there looks like it does and then on the side where these white brackets are we're going to put these wedge bricks and those fit perfectly on there all right that completes bag two now we're on to our third bag now we have our uh, final two minifigures they are the uh, first order storm uh, I keep saying stormtrooper I'm used to the uh, original trilogy they are snow troopers they are white, like stormtroopers. These troopers are equipped to troop in the snow. So that's why they're snow troopers. So they have the little skirts that are uh, somewhat challenging to put on. Once you get it on, put the uh, Torso on. We have the neck bracket with the little printed backpack tile. Single printed face and helmet. Decent sized blaster. So that's the first one. Let's do the last one now. <coughs> Excuse me. So these little plastic cloth skirt type things started coming out in uh, collectible minifigures. That's when we first started seeing these little accessory pieces. But over the years, they've slowly been incorporated into LEGO sets, not just seen exclusively in the collectible minifigure series. And I've noticed that with a lot of collectible minifigures, is a lot of the small accessories or little unique pieces that are at the time brand new. Um, over time, they, you start to see them in Lego sets. A good example of that is uh, the minifigure skates. So uh, the, the actual small little four-wheeled skates that went on each one of the minifigure's feet. Those were originated in collectible minifigures. Now we're starting to see those in a lot of Lego sets. Um, another good example is the ice skates, the uh, welding piece, the little 
torch welder piece. Uh, what else? I'm sure there's other things, but point is uh, the, the collectible minifigures are kind of a, the release of some minifigure accessories or newer type of parts. Looks like we're building some sort of a cannon piece. looking piece. I'll put a Technic pin in there. Technic pin on this side. Slides all the way through. Connects there. And we have these rotary flick fire or stud launcher pieces. And this is the satisfying click of the trigger. There it is. So once that clicks in, it's never coming out again. We have tile, two clips, double wide bow shape. That clips on there. Um, let's see, I'm supposed to put a anti-tile on the back. shape and a fluted round piece. Turn this over with a Technic pin or Technic plate. Okay, so now Turn this back over. That attaches there. I have another one to build. This should be identical to the previous one, just a mirrored version of it. Pretty common with these ship builds to have a lot of repetitiveness. It's kind of a, a necessity though. You can't really have one side looking too much different than the other. There may be some subtle differences or greebling or something, but for the most part they're, they're going to be identical-ish. Reversed identical. Satisfying clicks. over just like before we have some inverted slopes go right there 
also want to test. So you can see our, our pinholes right here. How, if you can envision it, it forms a T shape. And we have our T shaped piece there. Those holes line up perfectly and attach just like that. All right, that completes bag three. We're now on to our fourth and final bag. All right, so there's all of our parts. Um, there's two bag or a, a small bag in the big bag. So we're gonna start with, and once again, I'm gonna hold this in my hand because that's just what I like to do. I have some corner plates that are gonna lock in these elements that we just snapped on to those Technic pieces. And these little hinged brick piece that's going to get top to it. With a printed tile. goes there. Got a little control panel there. Put that to the side for now. Let's see, we have a Technic plate with some 2x3 plates. Couple wedge plates. Crazy here and unstable, so I'm dropping it to the table. All right, so that stabilizes it. Putting some plates across it. A steering rack piece. It's basically a one by four plate with little notched gear grooves across. It's basically a steering rack, that's what I call it, because you see that in a lot of um, Technic car type models or anything that you want to move in a linear action. Of the same module. These both go there, fold them down. Couple cheese slopes. Turn it over. Have a plate. Two plates with Technic pins on them. Turn it back around. This attaches back there. That's pretty cool. Makes a nice rear end element to the model. Slide this axle in there. So this one's going to be similar to the other one. Looks like it's going to be for the front end though. So we still have these little hinged plate pieces with some slotted tiles. Attach 
both of these here. That goes there. We have two of the same element to build. Doing them both at the same time, because that's what I like to do. Once again, we have some more slotted tiles. Almost hit the ground. Got it though. All right. So these are the uh, comfortable backs of the seat. You can see, you make some nice, comfy seats that you can cruise down the snow with, and this awesome little snow speeder. Next, we have a lot of these, for lack of a better term, snot green um, studs. These are indeed what are being used for the ammunition. So what we're going to do is load up these crates. in each one and it gets a jumper tile on top of it might help if I put the tile on there and then the instructions are showing these Put in here like that. We have a Technic piece that goes here. Got the black ice cream cone. launcher and then this is another the trigger for the stud launcher is another one of those satisfying clicks once it's in there it's never coming out Decorated one by one tiles. All right, so we've created this large blaster piece that will go right here on the front of the snow speeder. And then we have a lot of these. not green studs that will go in this rotary stud launcher. And there's actually two of them, because remember we built two little wings on the sides that were the same. So we'll go ahead and load up both sides so we are fully loaded and ready to destroy some rebel scum. All right, so that completes the build of the 
first order snow speeder. So we can put all of our figures in there. It's got the trans clear little pulley wheels that this thing rolls on. It rolls pretty good. So I can give it a push and it keeps keeps rolling. It's meant to kind of hover over the snow, so that's why the, the clear wheels. It's not a it's not a land vehicle, it's it's a hovercraft or a speeder bike, similar to a, a lot of Star Wars vehicles that that fly low to the ground or or hover in some way. That's why it's the clear stuff. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to put a comment down below. Tell me, uh, tell me which part of the movie this is from. Even though I know it wasn't in the movie, it was cut from it. Maybe you can, you know, make something up. All right. Thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow.